Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will go over the new AI feature produced by Serenade called the Extractor. What the Extractor can do is take any structured document with information, grab it, and transfer the contents onto a client or case profile. We will go over how to set up the Extractor and how to use it. Let us log in to the Caseworker portal. From the home page, let us go into the Tools section on the left, and we will see the Extractor. Click on it. Immediately, you will be asked to upload a PDF. It is important to note that your document must be in PDF format. Also, as mentioned in the intro, it must be a structured document. What does that mean? That means the document must have fields that state a question or have a label to help identify the information, such as a document that says first name, last name, or date of birth. It must also have the answers to those questions. The extractor will identify the question being asked, the answer, and work on making that data usable and transferable. Once uploading the PDF of your choice, the AI will work to read and list the items on the document. Once completed, a pop-up will appear. You will be asked to map those fields onto a client or case profile. If this is your first time, you will select the first option and name the new template. What this does is by creating and mapping this template once, any future instances where you upload a similar document, the software will already predetermine those mapped fields. Also, if you do not have the proper user access rights, you will only be given the choice to select an existing template. The ability to create or modify these templates is only reserved to those who are enabled for these access rights, which can be done inside the admin tools, specifically in your user profile section. Let us proceed with naming this US Passport and click on Apply. You will now see a list of items extracted from the document and a viewer of it. This viewer can be resized to your preference and you will go one by one selecting what information you want extracted from this document. For those items you want to keep, you want to map them by selecting the entity, the category, and then the field. For those you do not wish to keep, you do not have to map. You can then see the scanned value, which is the AI determining and listing the information. But you can modify this text if it is incorrect or formatted incorrectly. In the entity, you will select if this is for the individual client profile, business client profile, or case profile. You will select the category, which can be general info, address sections, or client custom fields. And lastly, choose which field you want to populate. I have now mapped this area. I will go one by one repeating this process for the sections I want to extract for the document. Besides that, I will also see the ability to manually enter regions. If I click on the Add Green Region button at the bottom, it will prompt a new entry where I can manually enter a region, a scanned value, and map it to the client profile. Once I am done mapping, I'll click on Delete Unmapped Rows so that it is removed from the list. By doing so, only mapped fields will be listed. I will then see the option of clicking on Next. You should get a pop-up asking if you wish to save this template. You will click on Yes so that you can select this the next time you want to upload a similar document. If you select No, then it will not save the changes you just made, but will proceed to the next screen. The last step is associating these fields with the case or client profile. If you have one already created, you can search for them and select them. If you haven't, you will be asked to create a new client. By clicking Add New Client, you can enter minimal information such as their name and their gender and proceed with clicking Create Contact. Lastly, you will confirm which sections you want to import onto the case or client profile by clicking on the check boxes to the left, either one by one or selecting all. Please note that these fields here will also list what is presently inside the client's profile. Consider this area as making sure you want to overwrite these areas inside the case or client profile. Once I have checked the boxes I want to import, I will click on Save. By doing so, the extractor has done the job of extracting information and transferring it into the, either the client or case profile. Should I get a similar document in the future, I can go to the extractor, upload the document, and proceed with selecting the template I just created. 
The software will list all your map fields where you will confirm the information similar to what we saw earlier in this video. Now, this was just one example, but as mentioned previously, any structured document can be extracted. Meaning, let's say I get an I-797. I can use the extractor to upload it, map it onto areas of the case profile as you see here, specifically the notices section, confirm what information I want to transfer and for which case by searching for it, and in doing so, be able to instantly save those notice receipts to its appropriate location. And not just a typed document, but maybe you have a handwritten item, such as a previously handwritten form that was submitted. You can upload a form, for example, and the software will extract your handwritten answers to the best of its ability. You will confirm the information, map it to the client profile, and select the client you wish to import to. And in doing so, extract all that data into the client's profile. As you can see, there are many possibilities of data you can extract. Before we end this, a bit of information. This extractor feature is available for all to use, but will eventually be reserved for users under Plan C. Should you wish to continue using the extractor, you may contact your sales account manager about upgrading your subscription. This concludes our video on using the extractor powered by Serenade AI.